It strikes me, Michael, that you have President Biden, a believer in bipartisanship, right, who has built his entire political career on bipartisanship. And you have that sound from Senator Scott trying to argue that the reason Republicans are here is because a handful of them one or two times acted in a bipartisan manner. I have to believe that for this president, it bolsters his argument for bipartisanship. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, it, the real test here, I think, is going to be with Mr. McCarthy, assuming he becomes the speaker. Um, can he help uh, carry out the two basic functions of government, which will be for him to fund the government um, and to raise the debt ceiling? Uh, the president has has a willing part. He's a willing partner in the president to do those things, but they've shown in the past that they're willing to hold the debt ceiling hostage and um, downgrade the the, uh, the the credit of the United States. Um, those are two very basic things, and Mr. McCarthy is going to have to um, bring over Republicans to help Joe Biden do that. It's going to be a major test for, for him and how well he manages and corrals uh, his conference. I, I want to play some final sound from Republican Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy. Take a listen. If this is the result of these elections, but the Republican Party still has sort of the same <laughs> leadership at RNC, Ronna McDaniel, Kevin McCarthy of House Republicans, Mitch McConnell of Senate Republicans, and of course Donald Trump is sort of the the leader out there, if there's no change there, um, do you think that's a problem for Republicans going forward? First, we're not a cult. We're not like, okay, there's one person who leads our party. If we have a sitting president, she or he will be the leader of our party. But we should be a party of ideas and principles. All right, I got about two minutes, but Matt Dowd, I need you both to react to that, especially in light of what we believe is coming this Tuesday. Juanita, I'll start with you. I, I guffawed at him saying we're not a cult because that's explicitly what they've been doing for the past six years, being a cult, only responsive, only falling in line behind Trump, even when Trump has lost them so many things. What the other thing that, that is wild about that is he refuses to answer the question, but we have heard from other Republicans who are like, get rid of McConnell, get rid of McCarthy, get rid of McDaniels. But the reality is, I think the Republicans know exactly who they are. They are the extremists at heart. They are going to continue to be bad faith actors in Congress. And, and so there is nothing else to reveal here. The only thing that can move this party forward is throw it all away and then try again in 10 years. Matt Dowd. Um, I, I was going to say the same thing about the cult. When he said that, it was like, wow. <laughs> like, like maybe he deep down understands what they've been over the last the last few years uh, in in response to Donald Trump. I agree with I would agree with Juanita. I mean, I don't today understand how Ronna Romney McDaniel, who threw away her name in obeisance right. to Donald Trump, has lost every single election she's presided over. How is she still chair, chair of the party today is beyond me. I'll give Mitch McConnell some credit because Mitch McConnell at least identified the problem months ago when he said, we got a real problem with quality of candidates and this could end up hurting us. It ended up being right in the course of this. I think what they have to do, this is not about removing Donald Trump. You can remove Donald Trump, but the mess is still there. They have to start telling the truth to their voters.